let's start by analyzing the compressor, the low pressure uh, compressor. Uh, first law for the compressor says that 1w2 equals h1 minus h2, lowercase letters here, this is all specific uh, quantities, uh, Cp times T1 minus T2, because it's an ideal gas and we're assuming constant Cp. Okay, so that is going to be, uh, now we know T1 but we don't know T2. What we know about state 2 is P2 because we know the pressure ratio for the uh, first compressor stage. We also know that the first compressor stage is isentropic. So, um, isentropic means T2 over T1 is equal to P2 over P1 to the power of gamma minus 1 over gamma. Um, so T2 is uh, 300 times 3 to the power of 0.4 over 1.4. Now for the intercooler, um, 2q3 is h3 minus h2 equals cp times t3 minus t2. We assume uh, an ideal intercooler. So throughout our calculation, we're being optimistic about the effect of intercooling. The best intercooling we can do, the most cooling we can do, is to get the gas down to ambient temperature, that is uh, T1. So we'd have T3 equals T1 equals 300 Kelvin. Uh, so that gives us a 2Q3 of uh, Cp is 1005. That's the Cp for air, 300 Kelvin, um, times T3, sorry, T2, no. What do we want? We want T3 minus T2. Is uh, minus 111. 0.2 kilojoules per kilogram. I forgot to complete the uh, compressor calculation. 1w2 Cp times T1 minus T2 So the, uh, that's the work done by, strictly that's the work done by the gas in the compressor. It's negative, which reminds us that actually we're doing work on the gas in the compressor. Uh, and the compressor work is exactly equal to the intercooler heat transfer, which with hindsight is not surprising. Uh, now, okay, so let's move on to the second stage compressor. Um, we're doing pretty much the same way as the first. We're going to need to uh, use the fact that it's isentropic compression. P4 over P3 we know is 10 over 3 uh, equals uh, T4 over T3 well to the power of gamma minus 1 over gamma equals T4 over 3 so we get T4 of 